Today I will show you how to create a dispersion effect in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's create some fun and interesting dispersion effect. Alright guys, before we start today, we need to choose on which image we will work. We have two options. This is the first one and this is the second one. It's your choice. First one or second one? First one or second one? First one. Okay, let's use the first one, but it's completely the same procedure if you use the second one or any other image you choose. Alright, first thing what we need to do to create this interesting effect is to duplicate our layer. The famous keyboard shortcut for that is Ctrl or Command J. So let's duplicate like that. Now let's use the lasso tool and just go around those two models. Okay. And if we use the motorcycle image, we will do the same thing. We'll just go around the motorcycle. And now we need to fill this selection with the content aware field. To do that, just go to the edit, fill and choose content aware. Press OK and wait a few moments for Photoshop to calculate this fill. And you will see really imperfect fill like this one. But actually it's really perfect for our purpose. So let's deselect Control Command D and we need this empty layer. I will explain you in a second why, but just let's uh, add the black layer mask to hide this layer. How to add a black layer mask? Well, just press Alter Option key and click on the mask layer mask icon here. Okay, we need this empty layer because we will delete some parts of the models here and we need to fill that parts with something, with some background. And this background, it's perfectly okay for the fill. We will not see those imperfections and that's great, right? The next step is to go to the first layer, go to the quick selection tool and just quickly select the parts of the models. You don't need to select whole models, just the parts of the models that you want to apply effect on. And I want to apply effect on this car, this woman here, and maybe a little bit here. I don't know. Let's select a little bit more. And that's it. Now press Control Command J to duplicate this selection and put this layer at the top. Now let's go to the liquify filter. Filter and use liquify. And we need to liquify this a little bit. Okay, with the this finger point icon, make a bigger brush and just, just liquefy this, make it a lot wider because this will be our dispersion fill. Okay. Just make it wider like so. Take a time and make this properly and oops. Okay, that's nice. And you can make as wide as you want to have this dispersion effect. I will do the same with these legs in case I want to disperse this too. Maybe I will. And I think that's perfectly. Okay, let's use this a little bit. And that's really, really nice. Press OK when you're done and we have something crazy here. But we will hide this with a black layer mask. Again, press and hold Alter Option key and click on the layer mask icon. And now we have again perfectly uh, fine image. So the next step, what we need to do to create this dispersion effect is to create a custom brush. So let's do that. Press Control Command N to create a new document. Let's choose the size 500 by 500 pixels. I will use a resolution of 72, 8 bits, white background, perfectly okay. And that's nice. Now we need to create our custom brush to draw some custom shapes on this white paper. For that, I will use again lasso tool and just create some custom shape selection like so. Then if I want to add a few more shapes, I need to press and hold shift key and just add some shapes here, maybe a smaller one. Maybe a little bit like that, maybe something like so. And that's nice. Press D on the keyboard to reset the color palette to the default. And now press Alt or Option key with the backspace to fill these selections with black color. That's nice. And now let's go to the edit, 
and define brush preset. Let's name this brush as ever we want. I will name it dispersion. Okay, and if I press B on the keyboard, I have this brush now, great. Let's go back to our document and I will now create a, just this uh, new empty layer just for a test because I want to make this brush to change the properties of this brush. To do that, because now it's nothing special. To change the, pro the properties of the brush, just press F5 on the keyboard and let's go to the first one, brush tip shape. Let's choose the spacing, increase the spacing a little bit like so. It's not a little bit, it's a lot. And then go to the shape dynamics. If you don't have pen pressure tablet, then you can use this size jitter to 100% just to have some randomness in size. If you have pen pressure tablet like I am using here, just put the control to pen pressure. That's great. And now let's use the angle all the way to 100% and roundness jitter, something small, maybe 30% or so. And scattering, let's scatter this a little bit. Mm, maybe like this. I don't know, we'll see. Let's try now. That's really nice. That's interesting. Maybe to bring spacing a little bit more, but we can try again. If we're not satisfied, we can always go to the brush properties and change the settings. Let's delete this test layer. And now let's go to this empty layer first, to the layer mask and use a white brush, a little bit smaller and just erase the parts that you don't want to see like here. Okay, just erase randomly like so. Okay, and yeah, I will use this leg too. That's really nice. And now when you're satisfied with this, you can always go back to this layer and erase even more if you want. Let's go to the first layer when we, uh, when, where we did the liquify and just with the same brush, with the same settings, white color, just paint to add this dispersion effect like so. You can, of course, change the brush size if you want or make it bigger, smaller, blah, 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 and just paint here. You can, of course, change the brush opacity. Let's use maybe 40% opacity brush and paint it here, like so. Why not 40% opacity just to have different effect here and maybe again 100% opacity and just paint like so, and that's completely okay. You can go to the brush properties again and even more increase the spacing like so. And it's really, really interesting effect. Of course, this dispersion effect a lot depends on your brush shape. If you create another brush shape, maybe a square brush, you will have a different effect of different effect or triangle brush or circle brush, or you can create some other crazy brush shape. You can use a cloud brush or maybe smoke brush and you will have completely another effect here. It's up to you and your creativity, of course. So when you're satisfied with, with this, you can add a lot of things here, but when you're satisfied, you can maybe add another effect here and that's to drop shadows on these particles here. Double tap on the layer and just use the drop shadow option. And let's use 90, 90 degrees angle. And let me zoom a little bit to see maybe four pixels in size, maybe one or two pixels because this image is small, one or two, it's okay. And now let me show you before and after, just a little bit depth to, to this. Or you can even add a motion blur to this if you want. Go to this layer, go to the filter, blur, motion blur, and just choose the angle like this. And you can add a lot of blur or less, something like so. And then you need to go to this empty layer too and Add the same amount, just press Control Command F, and that's it. This is with motion blur, or if I undo twice, this is without the motion blur, and that's it. 
this is before and this is after. Of course, if you're not satisfied, you can always go back to the layer mask and even erase more of this guys here and add even more of this effect, etc, etc. Or you can just go and fill it with the black and go from the start and so on and so on. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learned something new out of it. You can use this method to create really fun dispersion effects. And it's really interesting how this effect fits in some action images or images where the model is jumping, dancing, running, etc. Your imagination is the limit. Actually, it would be really fun to see your attempts on this effect. And if you have an Instagram account, you can hashtag this with NS underscore tutorials and I will make sure to see them. So if you have some questions regarding to this episode, you can leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. See you next week in the next fun tutorial. Bye bye. Just a few samples with completely different custom brushes. See you next week.